Now, if you remember back to the hammer video, or remember this one that I had got the wrong handle for? Well, um, the next week I went and picked up a proper hammer, a uh, handle, claw hammer handle. And see, there's the wedge, all that. Instead of making one, I just picked one up. I hadn't had time to get back to it. But let's do a little video right quick. Now we'll call this a restore. But this hammer here was in the big box of tools. A video that I got a while back. It's a little bit of light surface rust. It was red painted here and here. And we're going to leave most of that paint on there. All I'm going to do, it doesn't appear to have been used much if at all. I'm going to wire brush it good. I'm going to polish the face. And then I'll show you how to put a new handle on. All right, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing of moving the camera and showing you the wire wheel. I'm just going to brush it down real good. And if we polish the head, we'll go over to the buffer. I'll take you over there and we'll see that. All right, got it wire brushed off. I wasn't going to take that paint off, but just touched it with a wire brush just a little bit, and it just came right on off of there. It's very old, very thin. I uh, figured there might be a brand mark on there, but there's not. Down here on the claws. Looks like a XX and a little dot of some kind there, so... We don't know what it is, but it's a cool little hammer. Now, I think what we'll do is do our gun blue routine on this one, except for the face. Now I'm going to go over to the sander, smooth out that face, because it has been used a little bit once I got the rust off of it, I can see. Uh, we'll take that out, and then we'll go to the buffer. Then we'll put the handle on. Cool little hammer. That looks better. Now we'll go to the buffer. Let me get the camera on the uh, big tripod and we'll go down there and do some polishing. Well, let's start off with a little bit of black compound. This is going to take a while. We'll go from the black compound to the green to the white. All right, went up to the white compound. Don't that just pretty. Now we'll go back to the workbench and we'll tape off this. Clean the rest of it down with uh, acetone and put the blue and fluid on there. And we'll wax this so it don't rust. Gonna leave this shiny. Just like that. Then we will put it sit, rinse it off, oil it, and then we'll put the handle on. All right, let's start fitting the handle. I decided I'll oil it after we do the handle. Let's see if you can see that. The width is perfect. 
but we need to round these corners just a little bit. Just take a wood file or a rasp. Now this part, this part takes a while also, because uh, you don't want to take off too much and get it too loose. Just have to keep going on all corners. Keep checking it, keep fitting it. Like that, then we'll turn it over. And just keep going like that until we get our fit. Now for the sake of time I'll go ahead and get it all down and then we'll get it on there all right let's take a note right here we got it on there to about there that means we don't want to take any more off the end let's put a pencil marker right there like that then we know to go from here down. Not much more, just a little bit more than we can drive it on there. All right, I got to where I think I can get it on there. Now what I like to do is oil, put, put some oil on the handle. I'm out of linseed oil. This is mineral oil, which is a uh, very good stuff. And it is also food safe. That'll help it go on there. And it'll soak into the wood. Because these handles have been hanging in a hardware store and who, you know, you don't know how long they've been there or how old they are. But this oil will help it go on there. My 14 year old friends, cousins, don't say it. I know where y'all live. So, <laughs> all right, we'll put it on there. Now we're gonna go this way, put on the anvil. Don't beat on the hammerhead. Right, there we go. We got a little bit sticking out there. Get us a rag and wipe that oil off. And go ahead and oil your the hammerhead with this too. This it works perfectly fine for that. Now that is seated on there. Chances are it will never come out. One little bitty bitty tiny curl right there, which is fine. We'll trim that off in a minute. Wipe everything off, clean up the oil that we splattered out, and anytime you get done using a tool, anything like this, uh, oil cleaner, put the lid back on it. Now, when you take the wedge, and mark it like that and then we'll step over here to the scroll saw and trim that off 
we'll drive the wedge and the middle wedge. All right, same thing with your wooden wedge. Oil it just a little bit. Now, let's see. Let me get the camera up here where maybe you can see the whole thing. Line it up the best we can. And this is my Pawpaw's hammer. really really tight the wooden wedge may not go in may not need it okay wooden wedge ain't gonna work so we'll go to our metal wedge put just a little bit of oil on it Normally, the wooden wedge would go in and this will go crossways. Oh, go on, that thing is in there. Okay, spreading it out just a little bit. Alright, it's past the second line in there, so that's that's good. That's never going to come out, never going to go anywhere. Now we'll go over to the metal cutting bandsaw, cut this off, go to the grinder, even that out, and then we'll take a look at it. You know who you are. All right, one more touch before we look at it. My grandfather used to do this. Except his initial was H. He would saw two vertical lines and take his pocket knife and go across and make a H. Now, Papa was a shipwright. And because he built uh built boats. Uh shrimp boats, pleasure boats, all kind of boats down at the old Saunders and Runyon shipyards in Pensacola back in the day. And he had hand tools. That's all he had was hand tools. I think he had one 10-inch circular saw and everything else was hand tools. But he would mark all his tools just like this. I'm going to put my initials. I'm just going to put a W. Well, better go the right way, I guess, huh? There we go. That's my mark. That's my tool. All right, let's wipe it off again. We'll look at it. Then we'll be finished. All right, here we go, y'all. The hammer is finished. Right there it is.
No, I didn't uh, weigh this. I got a little scale I could weigh it with, but the battery's dead. So I believe this is a 16 ounce hammer. Maybe not quite that heavy. Very good all around the house, little hammer. There we go. Got it filed down, the wood filed down really well. Fits really good. I had that one little sliver I trimmed off. There we go. Now, I don't know what's going to become of this one. I'm going to hang it up out here. Uh, maybe one of the kids might need it or something like that. Who knows? But it's ready to go to work. Well, that's pretty. All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll be back in no time with another restoration of some kind or another. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to y'all next time.